afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 6. It's gotta be around 2 o'clock already. I spent the morning reading. I finished my book, All the Light We Cannot See. Sitting over there, I'll show it to you later if I remember it. I was unsure about it at the beginning, but as it got closer to the end, I ended up quite enjoying it. I also edited a video this morning, and I've just been hanging out. My skin has been so so bad lately it's probably the worst that it's been in like two years i'm assuming it's mask related because it's it's literally here like where my mask goes so i've been trying to switch up using different masks and i've been trying to keep my masks clean but i i don't know my skin is just in a bad place right now <laughs> today is my last full day in regina my mom is just wrapping up some work for the morning and then i think we're gonna go out i'm not sure what we're gonna do but we're gonna find some things to do <laughs> this is the book that i was talking about by the way i'll give a little review on it right now if you like historical fiction if you like books about world war ii and you enjoy a sad ending i think you'll get something positive out of this book if you don't like any of those things, I would skip it because as someone who enjoys all of those things, I literally love sad endings. Like if you make me cry, I walk away from your book with such positive feelings about it, which is so weird. Yeah, as someone who likes historical fiction, likes books about World War II and likes sad books, I still had a bit of trouble with it. And it's not my favorite book ever, so. Yeah, you have to really enjoy those things. I think the most unique and like interesting thing about the book was the timeline. You go back and forth between past, present, and future a lot. You never really know where you're going in the next chapter. You also go between characters. The book is all over the place, but it does a really good job of being clear. There's no confusion. I can definitely see why it's so well received and why it won a Pulitzer Prize because the writing is just beautiful but yeah it's a little bit fragmented i found it a little bit difficult to get into because of that but in the end i'm gonna give it a thumbs up i think that was the first book review i've done on this channel i am a big reader like i love to read i took english literature in university i have a, my major in that i have an english major but with social media and my phone and my laptop i find it so hard to find time to read, AKA I always am picking up YouTube or Netflix before a book these days. So it's been really nice just to spend a couple of days reading here, like really, really nice. And I'm excited to pick up another book once I get back home. We just took a nice walk. It's pretty nice out here actually. I took my jacket off for most of it. And we came to this store called Crocus and Ivy. What do they sell here? It's a homeware and clothing store. My hair is a mess once again, so please just ignore. <laughs> I kind of stopped vlogging a little bit yesterday. I took a few clips in the afternoon, so I'm gonna pick up the vlog and continue again today. We went to that cute little gifting store uh, yesterday, which you guys saw, and I picked up a bunch of gifts. They had a really cute baby section, and me and Will have all of a sudden all of these babies in our life. So we wanted to get them all little Christmas gifts this year. So we picked up a bunch of things and I'm not gonna show them to you guys because a few of those babies' parents watch my videos, but I got some really cute, really cute stuff that I'm really happy with. After we went to that store, we walked across the street to Earl's. We had some snacks. I got buffalo cauliflower wings. They have a full plant-based menu at Earl's, if anyone was wondering and didn't know that, which is great. And then I had three <laughs> vodka sodas 
they had the they had kettle one on their happy hour special so i had the kettle one grapefruit and rose with soda and i woke up this morning and i can feel it a little bit in my head uh a little bit of a headache this morning but nothing too bad after we went to earl's we walked over to the mall and we got many petties this is just regular polish i wanted more of a nude color and then when she tried the color i picked on my nail it was like the exact same color as my skin she asked me if i liked it and i chose a different color but then i didn't have i felt so panicky and rushed to choose a color that i chose this kind of pinky one which isn't what i wanted i wanted more of a brownie beigey nude but it's fine obviously it doesn't look bad today i am packing and flying back to Toronto. The week went by pretty quickly, didn't it? My flight's at noon, so I'm just gonna relax here for a minute and drink my coffee, and then I'm gonna get to packing. My stuff is spread out all over this entire house. There is no way I'm not forgetting something. So I wanna take a bit of time to do that, to try and avoid forgetting anything. Another day, another empty airport. There was literally not a single other person in front of me in security or anything. When I was coming down here, I was way too early for my flight. It's probably about 10.30 right now and my flight leaves at 11.50. And yeah, there's like nobody here. So hopefully the plane's pretty empty going back to Toronto, just like it was coming out here. But we'll see. <sighs> I ended up rushing. I woke up early because I knew I was gonna have so much stuff to pack. I had bought a bunch of gifts and stuff and my mom had given me a bunch of stuff. So I really had to like strategically pack. And so I woke up early to give myself time to do that. And then all of a sudden it was like 9.30 and we had to leave in less than an hour and I hadn't started packing yet. So it was like a mad dash to leave her house, but I got everything packed. I'm like so impressed with my packing skills actually. <laughs> it was helpful that a couple of the things she gave me were like those little bags that you can roll up to get air out of your clothes so they take up less space and then like some packing cubes. So that was actually very convenient. Uh, it's very warm. I'm very feeling overdressed. Gonna wait for this flight to board and head home. I came home to this, which was very exciting. Will went and got a little Christmas tree. So I'm so happy to have that. So in tomorrow's video, we'll do some decorating, some Christmas decorating in my apartment. I don't have a ton of stuff to decorate with, but uh, that'll be a fun video, I think. I'm gonna unpack. Um, my mom had some stocking stuffers for Will from last year that she never was able to give him. So I'm gonna give him all of that stuff. Will has some work to do. Once he finishes his work, we're gonna order some dinner and just hang out for the rest of the night. So that's gonna be the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. 
give it a thumbs up so that more people can see it too. Subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on my Vlogmas videos. I promise my hair won't always look like this. <laughs> and I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. Bye.